Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Dateline Lagos. I'm Victoria Ido. The highlights. Infrastructure, education, transport, security and health sectors get lion's share as Governor Akimumi Ambodi presents the 2018 budget proposal to the Lagos House of Assembly. The Lagos state government takes campaign of religious harmony to the grassroots with the inauguration of the local government chapters of the Nigeria Interreligious Council. At the state level, so help me And Governor Akimumi Ambode commends community development associations for the self-help projects as residents mark the 2017 Community Day. Let's begin with the big one. A total of 1.046 trillion naira, that's what the Lagos state government has proposed to spend in 2018. Governor Akimu Miambode told members of the State House of Assembly that the budget will be used to consolidate on the ongoing reforms needed to transform the state economy into a global competitive one. It's that time again when the Lagos State House of Assembly hosts dignitaries from the public and private sectors, politics, religious and traditional institutions, amongst others, for a very crucial function that will determine the economic direction of Lagos State in 2018. It is the presentation of the 2018 budget proposal to the Lagos State House of Assembly. The ceremony begins with the arrival of the Speaker of the House. Shortly after, Governor Kiu Miambode makes his entry. Straight to the business of the day, Governor Ambore makes his presentation. He begins by explaining how the 2017 budget has fared so far. In the outgoing year, we changed the face of Lagos for good, in spite of the economic, social and security challenges, as our investment in critical infrastructure development paid off and are visible across the length and breadth of the state. The year 2017 Golden Jubilee budget of 812 billion was approved and signed into law this January 2017 to fulfill the expectations and priorities of our people. As of November 2017, the 11-month period, revenue performed at 448 billion, that's 76%, compared to the full year performance of 2016 that was just 449, and then 399 in 2015. Suffice it to say that the overall budget performance stood at 74% as of November 2017, and it is projected to close at around 85% by the end of the year 2017. The state's average contribution to the national gross domestic product from 2015 to 2017 remains very strong at about 30 percent. For the 2018 budget, Governor Ambode announced an estimate of 1.046 trillion naira. The proposed budget is christened Budget of Progress and Development. It has a size of 1 trillion, 46 billion, 121 million, 181,680 naira. So 1.046 trillion. The budget will be used to consolidate on infrastructure, education, transportation, traffic management, security and health, with an added emphasis on mandatory capacity building for civil servants, all teachers in public secondary and primary schools, officers in the health service sector, and women and youth empowerment, alongside our medium and small micro-sized entrepreneurs. The proposed amount represents an increase of 28.67% over the 2017 budget, with capital expenditure pegged approximately at 699.1 billion naira, while 347.3 billion naira will be dedicated to recurrent expenditure. The estimate of total revenue for year 2018 is 897 billion, 
of which 720 billion will be generated internally. A total of 148 billion will be sourced through deficit financing within our medium term expenditure framework. Our investment in new technology and the reforms put in place will galvanize the efficiency of our revenue collection from all our citizens. The sectoral allocation of the proposed budget shows economic affairs having the lion's share of 473.9 billion naira, followed by general public services with 171.62 billion naira and education with 126.3 billion naira. Others are health, 92.7 billion naira, housing and community amenities, 59.9 billion naira, environmental protection, 54.6 billion naira, public order and safety, 46.6 billion naira. 12.5 billion naira is proposed for recreation, culture and religion, while 8.4 billion naira is for social protection.